Are you tired of bath bomb tutorials that don't really work? Ooh. I'm gonna show you how to make a good bath bomb. Alright you guys, I'm so excited it's time for another DIY and this one is bath bombs. I was inspired by the Lush bath bombs when I went there a little while ago and I fell in love and I was like, how do I have this addiction and afford to live? So instead of $6 a bomb, we got it down to $1.24. So in the description below there's going to be a list of everything I bought, how much I paid for it, and the quantities you would not need to buy if you want to make 30 bath bombs. So I would have spent $180 on these 30 bath bombs if I bought them from Lush and I'm spending 37. So that's a huge savings. All right, let's get started. In a large bowl, mix two cups of baking soda, one cup of cornstarch, and one cup of Epsom salt. And make sure that you wear gloves so that you can mix this with your hands and not have to worry about getting your hands gross. Then you're going to take a separate bowl to mix your wet ingredients. You're going to need four teaspoons of essential oil or scent, two teaspoons of water. You're going to need four teaspoons of almond oil or baby oil or jojoba oil. I'm using almond oil. And you're going to need some food coloring and you kind of just want to add as much as you are happy with. If you want just a little bit of color then just a few drops. Now we're going to measure out our citric acid. We're going to need one cup for this and make sure you're wearing gloves because you don't want this to make your hands yucky. But we're not going to add it into the dry mixture yet. Just set it aside, mix the mixtures together, the wet and the dry, and you're going to try to make a consistency of wet sand. And you're just going to hand mix it together. I even use my hand to kind of scoop out the oil out of the bowl a little bit to make sure I get it all. And you can tell when it's completely mixed because the color is even and it starts to hold together when you squish it in your hand. Once it's all held together, you can add your citric acid. Now make sure you don't mess this up because if you add the citric acid first and then the liquid, it will get all fizzy and gooky inside and it doesn't work. Then you're going to take your ornament molds and squish them together tightly. And be very careful because it's very delicate at this point. You need to handle it very gently. And I'm using these little silicone cupcake molds. I'm not sure where I got them, but I know you can find them online. They are even fun to make little cupcake shaped bath bombs. All right, so now that I mixed up the um, angel bath bomb scent, I decided to do another batch and I wanted to do coconut lime. And this one smells so good. And I just mixed like one drop of blue with like seven drops of, of the yellow. And this is soap coloring. Like it's not food coloring. I got it from Hobby Lobby in the soap making aisle. And so this is the green coconut lime. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells like a snow cone. I want to eat it. It's coconut lime. It's so good. It smells so good. This one's going to be one of my favorites. The bath bombs are ready to let dry. They dry for 24 hours before you use them. This one has been drying for a few days and it's nice and hard, I can handle it. It's not gonna fall apart. This one's lavender, it smells delicious. Um, I'm so excited about this, you guys. I've been using them for a couple weeks since I started researching how to do this. Most of this you can just find at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, so that's really exciting. These are so, so, so simple to make. And they make awesome gifts. So I'm going to be giving these to my friends and close neighbors. So instead of $6, $1.24 for this. So that is an awesome deal. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Make sure you give it a thumbs up for saving money. And enjoy your bubble baths with your awesome bomb. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, that was not what I was expecting.